What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I wanted to try uh, this deck I'm gonna call it Grave Shenanigans. Now there's a really cool synergies between Graveyard and Disco Dance Floor. Uh, not putting a Disco Dance Floor in a Graveyard, that's a terrible idea. Why would you want Disco Dance Floor to get one extra attack? But uh, they both work together with two cards in particular. One is Cowboy. If you put Cowboy in Graveyard, again it will be a Gravestone so it will be protected and this pops out with four attack. The Graveyard gives an extra attack. Uh, and this will be flying around the board, basically doing four damage, which is so good. Uh, same thing with the Gondola. Like, you don't want to play this and it just gets removed. So many things will remove a six cost five six that late in the game. Very few things remove Gravestone. So uh, very often they're not, just like a logical game, they're not going to front the thing that's in the Gravestone. Uh, because they don't want you getting extra value every single time you put another minion uh, in here. They are going to, um, it's going to get extra attack. Plus, they kind of like don't even know the matchup. Maybe it's going to be... A nice pirate was running this deck, which means, you know, if they put something in the graveyard, it gets a free trade against it. So, uh, that should actually enable this to open up. You can also just use, I'm not running any fruitcakes or anything in this deck, just decide instead to run Smoke Bomb. Uh, the idea is to put something in the graveyard and then Smoke Bomb it out and then you can get another graveyard shot. Uh, the Smoke Bomb also, again, works very, very well with both Gondola because that will enable it to hit face. I uh, should definitely want the same face in making those free minions, and it also makes a cow space cowboy go to the left of the field so it can keep going right, and it also makes it have a little extra attack, which is awesome. Uh, we are running pirates just to make this deck um, have a really, really strong core. We're very often just going to win just by playing quick draw comment on one. They don't answer that, so then your swashbuckler on two makes that grow, and then you, everything's going to get strike through from the flame face. The thing I really want to do is if you have a flame face on the field and you put Gondola into graveyard, it pops out and even if they have a minion there, it has strike through now and it's going to hit face and be able to make a minion and like zip to the water lane or something like that. Um, again, Disco Dance Floor, uh, if you play this together with the cowboy, it's going to just be doing overshoot, then move and then that minion attacks. It can't even attack the cowboy and then like when they proc the blocks and then the cowboy will finally attack and then I'll do overshoot in the next lane. It's a really, really cool combo. You might have seen that on the highlight comp. Uh, same thing with Disco Dance Floor with Gondola. Uh, a little bit harder to pull off because it's the easier card again to remove on turn 6, but maybe we'll be able to get some overshoot and this will just be jumping around the whole field, <laughs> planting minions there, which end up attacking because uh, this thing moves in the overshoot phase, not in the attack phase. Uh, and then it'll actually do an overshoot in a different lane. That'll be really, really fun. Uh, today is actually February 14th, 2022. That's when we're recording this, so I decided in honor of Valentine's Day uh, to run one stupid cube, but I'm probably not even going to upload this, like anytime soon to YouTube. I'm just going to um, <laughs> honorable mention for the people in the live stream here. Uh, this also actually does work though with Graveyard because uh, if it pops out and then it shoots, so then you're going to be able to really make a good trade uh, sometime in that turn. Otherwise, Stupid Cube is a pretty bad card. Let's see how this goes. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get right into it. Heck yeah. Do 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 do. And let's go. Do we keep Graveyard in our hands? I think we'll keep Graveyard, get rid of Smoke Bomb. That looks pretty good. We shall put this... Hey, you have to, like, kind of plan ahead to the Cowboy and to this. Man, where does, where does this... Does this comment go on heights? Maybe it does. I would really like... If he played Spike Weed Sector, just be able to cover it. That would be cool. But maybe the command goes on heights, so we have more options. This is probably correct. Instead of trying to debate him with the spike we sector. Let's do bets, guys. Do you think this deck can go 8 and 2? This is a pretty meme deck, but I think it really has, again, it has, first of all, the core. I'm, I'm trying to pitch the deck here to make this joke deck seem serious. But it really does have a very strong core of pirates. Again, we're running Infinity Pirates, which is <laughs> extremely strong. Um, but it also does have... Um, I think even the late game strategies with the Cowboys, like, it can be really broken, even competitively. If you think this deck will go 8 and 2, vote yes, and if not, vote no. Voting starts now. Deck does have some weird things, and it's not completely synergetic from game to end, so... I think that's the... the thing. Man, even just smoke bombing this, I'm gonna give... I, well, we can give strength to the Cowboy, too, man. I think this is strong enough because we have the Flame Face coming up. We'll definitely commit the Graveyard now. Uh, so voting... Started. We've got five minutes for the votes. Okay, he just quit. It looks like strengthening that con man was a good idea. And once again, we're actually want to know before the bets are even over. 
so it's up to you guys. On the one hand, it's a meme deck that should not go 8 and 2, but on the other hand, it is Infinity Pirates, so... <laughs> Probably don't need anything more than that. Let's just go easy 10 and 0. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. I just want to pull off a graveyard strike through Gondola one time, and I'll be a happy man. Where do we go now? This pirate can just go on heights if we're playing enough to. It's a 3 1. It's not terrible for a 3 1 pirate. Not really bad for a, uh, for a turn 2 play. Especially if you get a flame phase or something. A little awkward setting up the cowboy here on 4 against super. We'll see if our opponent uses a super power in the meantime. That's pretty cool. I probably should have faked the, the swashbuckler to draw out the black IP here. This doesn't look like a swashbuckler when you put it to the left. So yeah. Gross room. For reals? For realsies? Okay. I'll just draw a card. We're so bricked with our late game. What happened here? Doink. That's so annoying right now. So we haven't seen a superpower. Our cowboy's probably just gotta go here so they can get shot. Should we go with this? I don't think so. I think we'll do that later. The ice pirate bait strat is what I'm talking about. You need hard removal for your grass knuckles deck, and I really don't have luck or sparks. What the heck do I do? I mean, I don't actually run Shamrockets and Grass Knuckles. The better way to play with Grass Knuckles is just go as strong Bullseye and as possible. Strong aggro. I think that's the better deck anyway. Okay, we have some major untrickable problems. Good thing I'm not running Fruitcake, because it wouldn't even help me here. What do we do about this guy now? Do I just, like, cowboy him until he just shuts the hell up? <laughs> I don't know. Is, the, is this two ever a good play? This will set up the gondola for next turn. I don't really know what to do here. We should probably just, like... Alright, we should probably just try to chump block this. We'll get a little extra bullseye damage in. And we'll set up a strike through gondola, I guess. We'll probably proc pro the block this turn. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this. Okay. Okay. Ow. Ow. Here's five. Seven. Ow. Proc the block. Oh no. You can roll one right now. Roll one right now. God dang it. Okay, well. <laughs> Did we not block that game? Wow, that was a sad... A sad, sad game. Jeez. Uh, yeah, maybe this deck needs some pogo instead of stupid Cupid. I'm telling you guys, this deck is not pristine. So it was pretty hard to double, man. I don't know about that. That umbrella leaf got no value. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Did he actually Virginia roll us there, or was that was that fair? All right, Let's see if we get a useful superpower. Getting it either Infinity Clones or no, too bad. All right, so we can go with this. Uh, the play is actually going to be this in Graveyard, which actually will double buff this now. Double buff. Double, double, double buff. Just add Pogo. This looks pretty good. This will also have three attack next turn. I think we still graveyard this, right? Graveyard value. Just to give this extra attack. It's like a tempo graveyard. Oh my god. Uh, I guess flank face goes here so the cowboy can go in four. Maybe I should just play this so I can do the Overshoot Cowboy play. And now we got Wrecked by Green Shadow. Okay, he's just not making plays. Uh, that's a lot of da- that is- that is an insane amount of damage. 
turn three, he's down to nine with no blocks. No blocks to be seen anytime soon. I think we're just gonna spam a cowboy and tell this guy to go take a nap. What is he gonna do here? How does he even, if he hammers, oh my gosh, he's so done. Guys, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get ahead of myself here, but I'm changing the score to two and one. There's no way he comes back from this. There's no way, no, it's over. It's guaranteed we will. Is Conman a good card to craft? Yeah. It, it's hard to really find a crazy deck that doesn't have four Conman in it, so... Really, really good priority to craft. I would craft Flame Face first, though, so you can make, like, those OP pirate decks and just run Headstone Carver and just do it with Super Brain if you want, not even Infinity. But, um, honestly, after... After Flame Faith, especially if you have a pirate working pirate deck and you have Infinity, you know, you can pick him as one of your starting heroes. Just crap con, man. It's so good. Trick mech, it's so great. What what crazy deck doesn't run for con man even, you know? Falkster. Falkster doesn't have con. Unless you're running Hybrid. Did a lot of people vote yesterday? What are the votes? Let's see. No. The vote is even. 49% said yes, 51 said no. Wow. Wow. Uh, this looks like a pretty damn good starting hand, not gonna lie. I wonder if I even go graveyard on one here. This is so easy for him to take out with his beta Caratina superpowers, so... Especially because of that. I know Spike Weed Sector becomes exceedingly horrid. But we really actually get two 3-2s on turn 3 with this play. And he didn't even get one of his removal superpowers. Let's go. Usually you want to set up Graveyard, by the way, in this lane because the Cowboy gets a lot more value here. So does Gondola. Um, the question is, do I go Con Man or, or Grobber here? The Grobber is arguably better with the Flame Face. I think I'm going to go with that. It's 75 yes, 26 no. That's not what my Twitch said, but maybe it's glitching. I don't know why you're... you're maybe mine is, is... I think that was from yesterday, actually. So maybe mine is glitching out. No, I have 49%. 49% yes, 51% no. Did he just grave bust that? No, he grave slicked it. Oh my gosh. Thank you! Thank you very much! Uh, this looks good with Deadly, and I'll do the flame face next turn. This, he's just get extra value when something else pops out, so that's why I'm putting the con man in. Oh my gosh, okay, so now I grave. Is this that sniper? <laughs> what an asshole. I need another one drop. So he's running Flick and Grave Buster. I wonder if this is the Sniper. Sure feels like it. Good thing is he can't block Buster this turn. Watch him have another one. God, he's so annoying. It's so fine though. Do you not see how much damage we're doing? This is all Bullseye. We are doing 11, 13 damage. He's down to what? Like, it's over. <laughs> it's just over. <laughs> this is such a good combo. <laughs> All right, guys, three and one. Again, we're getting a cocky today with the pirate deck. We haven't, these games are not even lasting long enough to play Gondola. Imagine that being the, okay, nice shrinking violet, bro. That was beautiful. That one touched my heart, really. It touched my soul here. Smell my breath real quick. Three and one. Grave Peril, the strategy deck. Oh, dash means the amount of people who bet not to fry. Hey. I see you. I get it now. Thanks for clearing that up. My puppy. Damn, that's a good start. He's just against Solar Flare. It's not a whole lot you can do about that. <laughs> We'll decide the, the lanes later. Uh, all I know is this goes in lane one. Because it's gonna get a lot of buffs. Let's we'll see if he even has an answer to this. Nope, nope. I don't care about your ramp. Mine's so much better. I'm just playing. I'm just playing this right here. Screw this guy. 
I'm probably actually going swash like two two cards on turn three. We're probably not gonna even need the strike there. What you got, bro? If he goes after the swashbuckler, this still like grows. So we good. How much do I have to donate for you to sing Super Idol? Um Um a hundred. <laughs> I have to learn a new song? I don't know. Okay. There we go. Okay, so he supered that. Nice play. I mean, he, he is making five sun this turn, which is somewhat scary. So do we make a double play here? He thinks we do. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going for the double. Screw it. <laughs> it's obviously another swash. What else would it be? Monkey, actually. That might be Monkus. Uh, so anything that hits face grows by 2-2 two, two this turn. But he is making 5 sun, so... Uh, that's fine. So this is gonna go to a 5-4, and this is a 5-5. Five, five. These guys will even trade. Uh, it's just gonna be flame phase deadly now, and we're gonna win. This doesn't do anything against this deck. Cry, added you Facebook while back, never accepted. I don't necessarily accept friend requests. Just try to like send me a meaningful message and explain who you are and make it not about PvZ heroes. That will give me a chance. I don't accept every single like everyone in the world. I don't accept every person's friend request. So just give me a vibe that we're gonna be friends someday. Is it me or is he singing Ching Ching Haiji? I am. I am hundred percent. Ching Ching Haiji. Uh -huh. The song is stuck in my head. Uh, we're probably just gonna win this turn. The strength will actually win on the spot. I think all of this wins on the spot. Well, if we strength this one, Infinity Clones probably wins. Nah, that's guaranteed now. Get that. There's nothing to do. Even if he blocks, one of the superpowers can deal with five or strike through, so. The easy four and one. It's so sad that the, the early game in this deck is so freaking powerful. I might have to redo this deck someday and run control just like bungee plumbers and not have infinity pirates just wreck every game before we, it literally like what what turn was that? Turn four? <laughs> like it was, five, it was four, right? It was four. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Lobster, welcome. This is such a good. Let's <laughs> get rid of the cowboy here and go for graves because they're better. Just back her. There we go. <laughs> Which one do we want to get Godify slash Mog? I guess Weed Whack works better against this one. Okay. Oh, good play. Forgot about this card. I wonder if this is uh, one of these people using the heal rose. This new thing. This new abomination. Going or making its rounds. I'm trying to play the grabbers more in the middle. The gray robbers because of shrinking violet eventually. That was that was evil. That was that was, that was long. That's a lot of damage. Okay, well, <laughs> looks like we found a play. <laughs> we will have to suffer the five sun play this one turn, but we should be good. Uh, if he actually plays uh, like a elderberry, oh, it still kills this. Oh, that's fine. That's a really strong play, and it puts him actually not that far behind in this game, especially because we're aggroing him really hard, but at least he's healing a little bit. But it's not. It's not a lot. <laughs> I, I, this is so awkward because both of these work really well with the with the guy. I, I wonder if I well, man, that's annoying. I could try to set up. I should probably 
Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I don't actually have to kill this. And it does do more damage if I play this card. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this and set up the graveyard. And it's possible we can even like prevent something from getting in trouble. I don't know. Okay, that was weird. Gladiator. Man. So he gets this one. So it's definitely gonna be like you. And then what do we what do we graveyard here? Maybe just revive revive the con man? How about revive the con man draw a card? This ice pirate's doing nothing, but it's not really gonna do anything later. Could be even having another lane. As well. So that was pretty sad because he got rid of the, the flame face. Oh, I guess it's you. <laughs> this is the part of the deck that is not as effective. He didn't do anything. How does the opponent pass turn five with a deck? It must be really, you know, a ramp rose deck with just a really high curve. I mean, we're doing a ton of heat here. I'd love if a five could hit. Come on, man. Damn it, that was huge. Okay, looks like it's gonna be Gondola in the grave. This Gondola is gonna get some freaking value right now. Believe you me. I don't think he can really even afford to take a risk going after this gondola. He has a couple, I mean, he has at least a con man shredding him. We'll see what happens. Bro, for realsies? How is that not a snipe, though? Why is he blocking this? Oh, sus. So this dies now. At least they achieve and trade you. Alright, looks like Graveyard Gondola, the mind games, not working out. Freeze this one before we're wishing. Brain Nana. Uh, so what's better, this one or this one? These make an even trade. Probably the overshoot's better. Probably the overshoot's better. And we'll clear this lane. We'll have another lane to actually play like another video. Oh, is this lethal now? Because it's four? <gasps> the four attack ice. For the win. Come on. Yes, lethal. Got him. Easy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wasn't she look so good about that one? Okay. Easy. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Con Man overall good card. Even Hyber that had Con Man in it, it made it better against uh, decks like that have forget me nots and stuff like that. I, I, it's, it's hard to. It's so. Comments are really, really good. For a one cost card, the amount of impact it makes on the game, and that how difficult it is to remove for, with three health as a one cost, it's it's just. It's hard to run up many crazy decks that just don't even have comment in it, you know? These Ice Pirates have not been working out, but. We'll get it going, you know. Okay, so what do we want? Meteor kills both of these. Banana Bomb happens to kill this one more. Uh, this is better against, like, forget-me-nuts and stuff. I think I'll put it here. Better against Spike, exactly. There's the Meteor. So if he has Meteor, I'd rather forget this. Probably this one. I don't even know if I can commit strength on this. I commit strength. Sounds like I'm... <laughs> something to do with some kind of crime. What is this gonna be though? Like, what is he planning on playing here? I should probably actually play the flame face. Just here. The strength on cowboy. I'll probably wreck this guy. It, it'll make a good trade. Strawberry and uh. Because basically whatever he plays here. Uh, still a good trade. Benz. Farsighted Benz. Welcome to the family. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Man, I wish there was a top case. So how about four, five, six? <laughs> and I'll just be lame and do this play. We won't wait for the screen. Screw that. 
screw it. Wow, that's a good flame. That's a good burr. That's a good burr. That's a good uh, strawberry. So these two even trade now. The block. The I'm gonna say yes, clones. Yes, daddy clones. Oh. Yeah. I just feel like things are so easy to remove now with the strong berry on the field. <gasps> I think that might give us some stuff though. Well, 2-2-1? Two, two, and use the strength to kill this? I don't know. That's probably correct. If he just has like a sour grapes right now, we kind of just lose the game. How surprised am I the deck's performing for it so far? I just feel like it's Infinity Pirates. So I'm not really surprised at all. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so this has got to be worth it, right? It makes him do, like, have this minion die for free, do six, like, six less damage on a board that actually just completely annihilates him this turn. We're not even gonna be able to play the gondola. I'm really not surprised this deck's doing well. Infinity Pirates is post- You know we went 10-0 with budget Infinity Pirates. I gotta put that on YouTube, man. I gotta put that on YouTube as soon as possible. What date was that? Were you rooting for a team yesterday? Um, I, I was kind of rooting for the Rams. I, I don't want to spoil the Super Bowl if anyone hasn't watched it. Some people watch football games after the fact, like me. I mean, I did watch the Super Bowl live last night, but it was it was a really good game. Okay, uh, my one complaint is that since I'm in Mexico right now, I missed Al and Chris doing the commentary, and I missed that really badly. Ah, they are my absolute favorite commentators in all of sports, period. Al, Al, Al Michaels and Chris Collinsworth, and it was such a good game too, so just to have it with them. Instead, I was listening to Mexican commentary, which I'm really not used to. It's way too invasive. They actually have so many ads they throw on the screen. It's like soccer culture, or football culture as they call them. There's just so many ads, and they're talking so fast, I didn't really understand any of the Spanish. You know, speaking Spanish, except for like the names of the players, that's hilarious. Um, yeah, I don't know. These, these Ice Pirates have <laughs> not been getting it done. Let's see what happens here. Uh, Eminem did halftime, yeah. But it was, I mean, it was a really great football game. I wasn't very invested because none of the teams that I wanted to really see played in the Super Bowl, particularly like Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, was, I really wanted them. They were having such a good season, too. I really wish, uh, you know, if they got eliminated, I kind of didn't care about the NFL. I really didn't watch much NFL. I, I usually follow NFL and I'll watch a couple games every week in past years. This year, I just didn't, I don't know, I just wasn't really into it. That is a six-cost car that ramps and does all kinds of stuff. You know what? We should probably just prevent the ramp there. Maybe I don't. You know what? The ramp is not that important. Well, I'm just thinking, what's the play? We can play these two. Maybe Deadly. I don't feel like Deadly is going to get value in any other lane this turn, though. So what do we do? Just use this to buff these two cards by one. That's all we're going to get from... Like, imagine if that was a monkey pirate. It would be a hundred times better here. <laughs> imagine stealing two from his block meter this turn. That'd be crazy. Wow, what is he doing? Why would he buff that? What, what does he think that is inside a two-cost gravestone that he needs eight attack this turn? That was terrible. That was someone who had no had no play and just decided to spend a card because the tutorial said so. <laughs> hey, you still have sun. Waste your cards. You gotta save that for when it's good, man. Terrible play. Now we're set up for lethal in every single freaking lane right now. He's ramping and didn't even do anything with the ramp. He's bad, man. I don't think the plant food does enough to, to say don't don't make this trade at least. I don't think that I mean look at the look at this field. Captain Combustible is not a removal hero, so. Yeah, we're I mean just Pirates Cowboy man. Uh, it's seven and one. I, there's no way. He doesn't have a chance. Good, good, good. Cornucopia, let's go. Miracle time. <laughs> He's getting some good leaps, and I'll I'll give him that. This man got some high quality leaps there. Why well, no monkey pirate? I really wanted to put the ice pirate in the graveyard. But it just seems like we're not starting with graveyard and ice pirate. You need to like start with exactly those two cards. The ice pirate is a mistake. <laughs> it's not good. 
In fact, just to rectify the terrible part of this deck. It hasn't done a damn thing. What is another fun card we can run? Alright, more stupid cupids, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Just Monkus? The deck's so good, though. <laughs> I don't want the deck to be that good. It's so bad the way it is. Just Monkus? This is not a good card, guys. Fine, we'll just say it's a Mungus. Look, Mommy, the deck's better now. And a second stupid Cupid. Because this deck is freaking dominating. We have to, like, make this deck slightly worse, you know? By adding in. <laughs> Do I have six stupid Cupids? There. Updating deck lists. These days? These days? Easy. Easy claps. Maybe I should be doing this without, with like HG, so we're not, don't have comments. So. for fun value. Uh, it's clones on one. I don't have any pirate synergy until later. Uh, and then two we actually have now um, Comment Smoke Bomb. Three. Damn good. The weed whack on the con man instead of killing one of the actual guys I have on the field. Okay, I'm not even, I won't even dignify him by spending a smoke bomb. Right? Now what? So the, the powers are freeze, which does extra damage to him. Keeping it also. And then it's Mog and Anyway. Okay, boy. Boy, keep this damage going. It's a very, very sad Mayflower. Okay, it's turn three. We've done 14 damage so far. Bloody dumb. Here comes the shrinking violet. Let's get this rose back in the game. Come on. Uh, okay, that's extremely scary. Jeez. Come on, get Mog. If you get Mog, I, I basically win here for free. Because it just needs to be a, a one drop with two attack, which most do. Get Mog. Mog the flame face. Oh my gosh, it's Mog. It's total. It's like totally Mog. Opponent's just gonna quit on account of getting Mog. Another one bites dust. Another one bite the da. Another one bite. Another one bite. Another one bite, another one bite the da. Alright. I'm gonna bite your mom. Uh, Alright, we'll do the fun version of this deck someday that isn't Infinity Pirates. So broken. <laughs> this deck is not. This is not a fair. This is why I'm telling everyone to just craft Flame Face. You don't even need Con Man. Just use Headstone Carver, guys. You don't even need Grave Robber. Just run whatever, man. Just run Bungie Plumber instead of Grave Robber. You'll be fine. <laughs> You don't even need cowboy. Just run whatever, man. And surprise guard. It'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting some. We're we're going for pure shenanigans. The, the bet's already settled, so I'm just gonna BM this guy until we can get some real shenanigans going here. This is the game, guys. Remember that other game? Remember that other time? Even trade we do onto his face, he also gets one very good card in this deck. So maybe he wins this turn. What's better, one bullseye to face or one beanstalk in your deck? I'll ask. Hing jing, hi jing. 
Oh, uh, I'll award the fries. Congratulations! The answer was yes. This deck is freaking broken. So, now is this deck going on YouTube? Oh, it's going on YouTube. You bet going on YouTube. What do you think? You think that deck not going on YouTube? Deck not going on YouTube. I'm like a motherfucker, but I'm going on YouTube, man. I don't know what you're saying, man. This kind of dies for free. I feel like this just should have gone phase. And you're taking the three damage regardless. That was a terrible play. Go phase, steal some block meter, do some damage, get something going. I don't get it, man. Sometimes I just don't get it. Okay, so this is going here. This would have gone here. Then we're going to graveyard and maybe draw a card or something. If he puts on with two attack here, I might just encrypt this one. Uh, so it's alive for turn six, and I'll play the Gonzla on it and see if we can get some shenan nuggins going. God damn it. So this is always happening. <laughs> okay, the stupid Cupid's kind of awesome right now, actually. Oh no, he's, he's gonna have a full block meter. Let's read this. Clank. <laughs> Look at the stupid cupid though. That's amazing. And then if he even draws any cards, it still goes down to zero. Bitch. And then we're gonna just plant another minion. You see what we're doing here, guys? We're gonna plant another minion to feed to this banana Saurus, just so our gonzola can go to a different lane and overshoot again. This is the plan. Here she blows, get the con man. Heck yeah. Okay, well, I guess it didn't matter. Oh, we. He's too trade now? Lame. <laughs> the sad banana service Rex. Alright, guys, I think we gotta go for the gondola on the, on the disco floor. If he has planned food, this is the saddest day for every single Jew, but. Because it's just like a two for one, and he basically just wins the game with the planned food here. But come on! If he doesn't have a planned food, this is gonna be epic. No planned food! No planned food! No more back air bounces either. That Spring V and Spring V will also just win the game. Just wins the game. No, no, he don't have it. He don't have it. He don't have it. He didn't have it. Oh my gosh, he didn't have it. He didn't have it. Here we go, guys. This is this is the whole reason we made this deck. So, this isn't even going to die. It's not even going to touch the banana. This gondola has nothing to do with the Bananasaurus Rex, except for dropping a bomb. Okay, let's see if we... Oh, God damn it. It went so... What the heck? <laughs> Bro. Okay, well, I guess we're making things now. But this will actually shoot another time here. So that's up. Uh, we'll take the 8 damage, though. <laughs> clones? Is clones good? No, clones is terrible. Because then we're, we're not going to see what, what the Gonzalo makes. Make a plank walker. Okay. Now these two attack each other. <laughs> My life is so fun. Ain't it. Anus. Uh, we're going to use the backup... The, the Infinity Clone sort of as a, like, uh, backup thing that we do in case he, um, he flicks this gravestone. We can still stick a guy in. Oh, we still lose, actually. Okay, that's a terrible backup plan. The goat! The graveyard goat! <laughs> Guys, that was fun! We did, we did gondola shenanigans. After this deck dominated everybody. I wish it didn't go to lane 5. We went to lane 2, it'd overshoot again, and then we'd have another shot. It's not really as reliable as Cowboy, not gonna lie. Cowboy just always just uh, deletes their entire life. It's a good thing we have a uh, flame face here, because or else we would um we would actually be guaranteed lethal for him if we didn't have flame face. <laughs> Yeah, that bot is pretty sad. We won! We won the video game! <laughs> if he actually had a great flick, it was lethal. But... Alright, guys. Well, welcome to Infinity Pirates being so OP that you can just add complete trash garbage into the deck and it still wins. It's basically the story of today's stream. We'll try to make this into a control deck or at least a huge Giganticus pirate deck or something like that. Just so we can pull off some serious, 
<laughs> shenanigans. Hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Valentine's Day. That's what I'm talking about, damn. This stream went really fast. We, I think we well, got through 10 games in like 45 minutes. We've won games very often on turn 4 or our opponent concedes turn 4 earlier. That was like half the games today. Stupid Cupid and carried. Stupid Cupid carried that match. That's definitely what happened. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was an amazing stream. Peace. This is Pride.